It's the starting five. I'm your own Weitzman. We are here the week after the NBA trade deadline. The Nets were considered some of the big winners of trade season. But here are five questions they'll need to answer in order to fulfill those big expectations. Question number one, will Ben Simmons be physically and mentally ready to play by the time the playoffs come around? Let's start with the physical question. First, you know the background here. Ben Simmons has not played all season. He hasn't played an NBA game since game seven against the Hawks in last year's playoffs. He's been working out, playing pickup, stuff like that. But, and he alluded to this in this introductory press conference, playing pickup, working out, that is very different than playing in an NBA game. The Nets only have 25 more games this season. They're also currently in eighth place in the East, three games out of the six seed meaning there's a good chance they end up playing in the play-in tournament. That means Ben Simmons does not have a lot of time to get in shape and up to speed. As for Simmons' mental struggles, we don't know much there. And to be honest, it's a hard one to even talk about in a forum like this with how little we know. I've had some dark times over these last six months, um, and I'm just happy to be in this situation with this team um, and organization. So people are going to say what they want. They've said it the last six months, and I haven't come to... um, And it is what it is. So people are always going to have their own opinion. It seems given the fact that he's already been around the Nets and been smiling and given the fact that he's held a press conference and some of the things he said in that press conference, that being in a new home with a new team and a new city is something that can make a difference for Ben. But given how little we know about the situation and how complicated these matters can be, to be honest, it's hard to prognosticate or guess anything in this area. Question number two, how will Ben Simmons react to being the third option? This to me is one of the more interesting aspects of the Simmons to the Nets trade and something that I think frankly is being a little under discussed. In Philadelphia, one of Simmons' issues, and there were many, but one of them was that he felt like the team wasn't necessarily built around him. He wanted the team to be his. He wanted to be put in a position where everything revolved around him. Think of like Giannis and Milwaukee, guys like that. He thought that being in an ecosystem around Joel Embiid was the sort of thing that held him back. Embiid wanted to play slow. He wanted to have the ball in the post. We've even seen in years past that Simmons hasn't reacted to having other guys be given the ball. One of the reasons the Sixers did not bring back Jimmy Butler after their success playoff run was because Simmons had made clear that he was upset about having point guard duties taken away from him. Well, now in Brooklyn, he's not going to be playing the point guard. That role is going to belong to Kyrie Irving when he's on the court. We'll get to that later. And the offense will run through Kevin Durant. Simmons is going to find himself off the ball a lot. He's going to find himself in the dunker spot, the area on the block by the rim. The idea being you catch the ball, you can go right up for a dunk. Again, how will he react to this? It's going to be really interesting to see how this all plays out. Question number three, Kyrie. That's the entire question. Look, you guys all know the deal here. Kyrie, due to his insistence on not receiving a vaccine, is not eligible to play in any games in Brooklyn, in New York City, in Golden State, or in Toronto. That means that out of the next 25 remaining games, if all the current mandates stay, and we can get to that a little bit because Adam Silver seems to be trying to put some pressure on New York City to maybe change their laws. But if nothing changes for the remainder of the regular season, Kyrie will only be able to play in eight of the Nets remaining 25 games. That is an incredibly low number, considering the fact that the Nets are also working in Ben Simmons, Seth Curry, and this entire new starting lineup. And again, they are three games out of the six seed, meaning there's a good chance they end up in the play-in tournament. That means that every game for the rest of the regular season matters for the Nets. Not only do the Nets need to win all these games, but they're also going to be working on putting this whole new lineup together and helping them build chemistry and continuity. Kyrie's availability is going to be a huge part and play a major role down the line. Question number four, when will Kevin Durant return? Durant is out with an MCL sprain, and we do not know yet when he might return to the court. And again, this is a common theme with this Nets group. All this talent, they never seem to be on the court together, and we never seem to know when the players will be on the court. Durant is everything for the Nets. Everything they do on offense revolves around him. He was, before Simmons, their best defensive player. Even with Simmons, he's an essential part of their defensive game plan. If Kevin Durant doesn't return, the Nets have no chance. But given that they are in eighth place in the East, they need him to return sooner rather than later. Question number five, can Curry cook in the playoffs? 
The Ben Simmons addition was obviously the highlight of the Nets trade deadline, but the addition of Seth Curry and also Andre Drummond are the kinds of pieces that could help the Nets if they do make the playoffs or even getting to that point. Curry is a dead-eye shooter and somebody who the Nets are going to need, especially if Joe Harris is not able to return, and we don't know when that will be. And Andre Drummond gives the Nets some much-needed size to go up against big guys like Joel Embiid. One tangent about Andre Drummond, I think the fact that he and Embiid are no longer teammates is a huge win for NBA Twitter. I think we all would win if those two can meet up in a playoff series and maybe Embiid can send out some more tweets again about owning the real estate in Andre Drummond's head. Also, while we're on tangents about the Sixers Nets trade, I think we have to highlight how little Doc Rivers seems to care about the members of his own family. He's now traded Austin Rivers, his son, Seth Curry, his son-in-law, and I'm not gonna go into details now, but just Google Paul George, Doc Rivers. You'll find some fun stuff there. I think we have to have a talk about the way Doc Rivers treats his own family. But back to the Nets, there's no doubt that the additions of Curry and Drummond are gonna make a huge difference for them down the stretch here. This Nets team, if fully whole, is actually, I think, better than they were before. Simmons, Kyrie, Durant, Curry, Patty Mills, Joe Harris, that is a really, really strong group. And if all together, I think the favorites to come out of the East. The question is whether they can all be on the court together at the same time. That's your starting five. I'm your own Weitzman. For more great NBA coverage, be sure to check out the Fox Sports app.